but it's a massive announcement, massive, uh, an incredible film that she made. Uh, uh, it sort of set off a trail of news, events and everything. But uh, the main thing that swiftly emerged afterwards was that Harry and Meghan hadn't found out Mm. until we, the rest of us did. So they were not even on the loop, apparently because William has decided they can't be trusted with yeah. pr personal information. And also, uh, Harry's coming over here, they think, in uh, May for the Invictus Games 10th anniversary celebrations. And William has been letting it know he doesn't want to see him. So even though you've got this very uh, emotional family news, it's not enough to thaw this ongoing feud when between you, William and Harry. You know, when you've got various plates spinning and various concerns on the go at once, you just don't need to add to the pile of drama, do you? No. And of course, this has been a very closely guarded, well, secret, but confidentiality, as, as I'd imagine Kate needs it to be. You know, yeah. she's been going through a horrible time. She thought she was going in for, for routine abdominal surgery, later finds out there's cancer there, how to tell the, the family, you know, how to deal with this like a normal person would need to deal with it and process it. Mm. And you don't want the whole world talking about it and speculating it, but, you know, the conspiracy theorists forced her hand. You can understand why the last thing they would do is speak to those yeah. gossip merchants who basically survive simply by being able to talk about the royal family. They're the last people you would tell. And frankly, if you were going through a tough time, they're probably the last people you care to see. Yeah, well, they've made that clear, Charlie, that uh, they fear that the gruesome twosome from Montecito would sort of barge in on this story and cash in on it if you like. Mm. I'm not saying financially, but they will cash in on it publicity-wise. And uh, again, the royal publicity machine has let it be known uh, that uh, neither Charles nor Kate are going to spend any time thinking about what has been classified as the Harry problem. So in these circumstances, they're both battling cancer. They've got far more important things to worry about than the Harry and Mego. Megan, Mego. 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 Oh, I like Mego. that Montecito publicity machine. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. And look, you know, when uh, the King Charles was diagnosed, Harry uh, made a flying visit over, and it was a flying visit. I can't quite recall whether Harry and um, William met during they did, that time, they but did. they didn't, yeah. didn't they did not I didn't think. But, um, uh, you know, you're absolutely right. You know, why on earth would you, when you're dealing with such personal and private information, um, uh, that you would tell anyone uh, that you might think would then try and... Um, uh, take the limelight away for, for what it's oh, worth yeah. or to in some way uh, put out a statement to say we're thinking of you or anything that would detract from Kate being able to do what she um, did uh, well, wonderfully even, and bravely on even Friday. Even if not now, the point is at some point in Harry's next book, because hasn't he got sort of contract to serialise his life or whatever, well, at second, some point a in a book it's going to pop up or He's decided, or the last her. thing we heard last week was he's decided he now doesn't want to write Spare too Oh, changed your mind, Because it you? upset people. Guess so you, you think, Harry, no, calling your dad you a racist say. and a skin flint and the whole family slave drivers? You think that upset them? Mm. Wow.